everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a huge Amazon haul. I have so many things to show you. These are things that I continue to like repurchase on Amazon but they're also new things that I've bought in the last couple of months. So I do have a lot of things to get through. We've got beauty, home decor, hair care, home stuff, skincare devices, just like a whole range of different things and I'm really really excited for today's video. I feel like this is going to be my best ever Amazon haul so I'm very excited to share everything with you. I will of course leave all of my Amazon pieces linked down individually in the description box below but I also have an Amazon storefront so you can basically just go on one link and see everything that I've talked about in any video ever so it has all of my Amazon favourites on there so if you want to look through more things there's more stuff on there. So I'll leave all of that information in the description box below. Now, before we get started, I have just been sent over a, another beautiful piece of jewelry from Abbott Lion. They do send me a piece over every month for me to show you guys, and it just arrived in the post yesterday, and I wanted to put it on for today's video, so I thought, why not show you it in this video? So I'm just gonna quickly unbox it, show you it, pop it on, and then we will get into today's haul. It's high quality jewelry that doesn't tarnish, so you can wear it time and time again. It looks beautiful on, and it's affordable so we have a little care card here we have our little polishing cloth every piece also comes with a two-year warranty as well and I went for this beautiful chain necklace I decided to personalize it with this which is this little heart with an R engraved in it which obviously for Rosie but you could get any letter you wanted so if you had your other half you could put your other half's initial on there you could put your pets initial on there so this is what the whole chain looks like with the heart on it I'm now going to put it on and that is how it looks like on really really love it I think I'd rather wear it against my skin obviously I'm wearing this black top at the moment just because I'm cold um, but in the summer I think with like a nice strappy top on and this just on your neck would really be like a nice statement piece of jewellery so there we go that is my new necklace I will leave it linked down below if you want to check out any of their jewellery for yourselves they've got so much to choose from so if you don't like this piece they have a lot of other pieces so the first thing in my Amazon haul I have a huge list here uh, which I'm going to go through so the first product that I have to talk about is this product here which is the Helio Care 360 color gel oil free beige sunscreen protector SPF 50 that was a mouthful this is my empty one and this is my freshly bought one before this runs out I always have this one ready because I just cannot be without this product it is so good honestly if you are looking for a little bit more of a lightweight because it's not a foundation really it's a, a tinted SPF but it does still give you pretty good coverage it is light coverage like blemishes are going to show through but you can just use concealer to kind of spot conceal any blemishes but have this on your skin as a base because it is absolutely beautiful it leaves your skin looking kind of like filtered with like a veil over it you've got your SPF protection in there it doesn't break me out ever since I've used this it hasn't caused any problems on my skin because SPF can break people out the formula is so thin and lightweight it's not sticky it sets down it's great for oily skin it's great for dry skin honestly it's a brilliant product and I absolutely love it the way that I apply it is actually with my fingers so I just tend to pump three pumps on my face and then I just take my hands and I just literally blend it in like it's a face cream and I feel like that gives me the best coverage with it but also it sinks into your skin and makes it look as natural as possible this product is great for like no makeup day so if you're just at home you don't want to put makeup on or if you go out you don't want to put makeup on but you still want to feel like your skin looks very like clear and has a nice glow to it this is the product that you want honestly you will not be disappointed but definitely apply with your hands blend into your skin and then spot conceal with concealer I do have a concealer to show you in a minute anyway so I can also show you that but that is all that I've got on today I have this as a base then I have concealer on the areas that I want to cover and under my eyes and then I just put a powder over the top and do like the rest of my makeup and stuff but I do not wear any type of proper foundation anymore especially with my skin it's definitely on the aging side now I'm 32 so it's definitely going that way products like this just work so much better than me putting on like a full coverage foundation. I've got a tiny bit left in here so I just want to show you the texture of it. Hopefully you can see how thin that is. Mine is in shade beige. Now I think the only negative with this product is it only has two shades so you literally have shade beige and shade bronze. 
Uh, they are quite versatile though because it's a very thin formula and it's not really designed as a foundation you don't need to have an exact match it's kind of like blends into your skin and this is actually a little bit dark for me but all I do is then lighten it up with a lighter coloured concealer but it honestly just blends into your skin so beautifully that's like the difference between the two hands so it's kind of just kind of like perfected the skin and giving it a really nice glow. It gives me a little bit of colour on my skin as well because I'm very very fair. I do always welcome a little bit of colour on my skin. In the summer this is perfect for me because I just get up in the morning, I do my skincare, I apply this just all over with not really much thought and then I put some mascara on. Good to go. It's so easy, it's such a beautiful product. Honestly, you won't regret it. And I buy it on Amazon. I actually spotted this first when I was getting my Botox done. I have Botox done between my eyebrows here. And the aesthetic clinic that I go to displayed all of their, you know, very nice fancy products that they like to sell. This was there and I was like, oh, what's that? And I looked and thought, oh, that's really nice. Um, but then I thought, it was like 40, I feel like it was like 40 something pounds in the clinic. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can get that cheaper. And then I found it on Amazon and now I just, I buy it every, it probably lasts me, I reckon I get six months out of this actually. So I probably just buy two of them a year. I have been using it for about a year and a half now. So I think this is my third one that I've bought and it's 24 pounds and 46 P. So definitely the cheapest place I found it is on Amazon. Highly, highly recommend. Like this is definitely my product that I'm gonna purchase over and over again and just not stop. Just wanna show you, it has dried down to kind of this like matte look, but it's a very natural matte and it has a very slight sheen to it. So it doesn't, if you're oily, it doesn't make you greasy or anything like that. It actually helps with the oil in your skin. Right, next up, I can't say that this is a favorite because it only arrived yesterday and I was playing around with it last night and caused myself some damage. But it's probably because I did not know what I was doing. But I picked up one of these blackhead remover devices. And this one has an LED screen on it which has soft, normal and strong suction. Basically this is like a vacuum pore cleaner type thing if you know what I mean. You've probably seen them, you know, you sort of drag it over the skin and it draws everything out. It says that it exfoliates, it purifies the pores, it tightens and lifts, uh, it has an LED screen. Like I told you it's got a long lasting battery. It's nice, 19.99 is what I paid for it and I actually got a set of um, tools in here as well which is quite cool that just came with it. These are the tools that came with it, they were just included so I haven't played around with those yet but I'll definitely give them a go all for kind of like getting rid of your spots. And this is the actual device. So you have this bit here and then it has different attachments on the top here. So depending on what you wanna do. But that's the thing I've not really figured out like which attachment to use. So that's quite a big one. And then we've got a smaller one here. And then this one is quite cool. This one has like kind of exfoliating bit around it. I did use this one last night after I damaged myself. I used it on a different bit of my skin. And I think this one was my favorite. It felt a little bit more gentle compared to the other ones. But yeah, basically I was using this one that came on it. Um, it did actually pull out, I had quite a big blackhead here, and it did actually get hold of it and pull it out and I could see it in there, so it did work. But then I went on to my chin area, which is what I bought it for. I bought it for my nose and my chin. When I say chin, I mean this kind of like, like the divot in between my lip and chin, like this little gap in here. I just feel like it's so congested. When I've got no makeup on, that area looks like always red and it's always very blackheady, pory looking and I just hate it. So I thought one of these, I'd literally just clear it out and then my nose has got all those little like blackhead spots on it. It did work quite nicely on my nose, like I just went down and it felt really soft and smooth but it instantly bruised all of my chin area. So basically without makeup on I've got a bruise going down there from where I like sucked it there and then pulled it down and that bruised straight away. And then I did it here about three times. I just went over it one, two, three, and it bruised in there as well. I did put it on the strongest setting though. <laughs> Probably should have just started off soft and then um, built my skin up to it. The thing is with this product is the instructions are like crap. There's hardly any instructions on how to use it. Basically it tells you how to like turn it on and stuff. But I wanna know how to use this for my skin. Um, so I did look at a few YouTube videos and some people were just like holding it on a spot and then removing it and some people were like dragging it down but I will say that when you're sort of holding this on your skin and like dragging it up I don't know if it feels good for your skin I'm thinking I don't want to drag my skin around it's already aging I don't want to be stretching and pulling at it so I was a little bit like not too sure about this device but if you are looking for a poor vacuum device it is nice like, it feels really great quality I really like the LED screen you can change the settings on it. 
and then basically it just sucks on. Like it doesn't even look that strong on there and it's not really on my hand like that. It's not even like that strong. But for some reason, you can kind of see it dragging my skin up in my finger there. But for some reason on my face, this, this felt strong. But yeah, I think that's something I'm gonna have to play around with. If you can give me any advice on how to use these, then please do. Next up, I have bought a whole box of Colombian coffee pods. I do always buy my coffee pods and espresso ones from Amazon. I just find them to be the best value and you can like bulk buy easily like this. I've got a hundred here. These ones are actually made by Amazon, which I thought was quite cool. I was excited to try them out. And they are the Colombian coffee capsules and you get 10 in each pack. So I have 10 in here, so there's a hundred. Compatible with the Nespresso machines. Strength number seven, which is medium strong. And I had my first one of these this morning and I can confirm it's really, really good. I love it. I do normally use the, oh my God, I've forgotten the name of the other ones that I use. The Law number 11 ones I normally use, which are very strong. These have a little bit more taste than the other ones. They're obviously not as strong in the caffeine department, but they have a little bit more of a taste. And I think maybe that's because the Colombian, I must quite like the Colombian taste. But I'm definitely going to repurchase these once I've got through them because they taste so good. Really creamy as well, came out lovely from the machine and also very, very affordable. These were £19.99, so that's £20 for 10. So is that £2 a pack? Quick maths. £2 a pack, so 20p per coffee. I might have worked that out completely wrong, but I feel like I'm right. 20p a coffee. Believe it or not, maths is actually my strong point but I could have just got that wrong I mean I know that wasn't particularly difficult maths I know that but with my university degree at the moment it is honestly insane the type of mathematical things that we have to work out I feel like bloody Einstein you know when he's like writing on the blackboard all of these different symbols and numbers and stuff like that I've been learning all of that and it's blowing my mind it's actually a thing that I've got to learn so I feel like my brain at the moment is probably doing quite well because it's I'm really working it so yeah I'm loving uni at the minute it's very hard work but I am loving it that was a little uni update if you don't normally watch my videos I'm studying forensic psychology at university at the moment and um, yeah it's getting more and more intense as the weeks go by that's the coffee pods much needed for when I'm doing my uni stuff next up we have these which are light bulbs you get a pack of six in each and they are the small screw-in ones, but I absolutely love using antique light bulbs. So I'm just putting my hand there so you can see the colour of this, but it has a kind of yellowy gold tinge to it. And these just give the most beautiful light in the evenings when it's dark. You just want a little bit of light on in the corner of the room or something. Or normally when I'm studying, I don't like too much light because obviously my laptop's got light. So around me, I love just like candles and very low lighting. And I just find that a lot more relaxing when I'm trying to study. Um, and these antique light bulbs, although I think these ones are called vintage light bulbs, but I've also got antique ones, which are also linked in my Amazon storefront. They're like bigger ones. They honestly give the most lovely, like orangey candle lit glow to the room rather than a bright light color. You get six as well. And these are £11.89, which is pretty good value. Bulbs are actually quite expensive, aren't they? Next up, I wanna talk about my mascara. And this is the mascara that I'm using at the moment. And I have used this for years and I always buy on Amazon. It's the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour mascara. And this one has the, like little fibers in it and it has a really, really thin wand. And it's great for getting right into the base of your lashes buffing it up, really thickens them up and it does make them a little bit longer as well. It's lovely to use. You get, I think it's 12 mil in here. So it's a huge, huge pot of mascara and it's £4.90. £4.90 this is. There's three mascaras that I normally flip between. Uh, we have this one, the Essence Volume Stylist. We have Maybelline Sky High and then the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Those are like my three favourite mascaras and all three of them I always buy on Amazon. That's like the cheapest place to buy them and also Normally I'm running out of something and I'm like, oh, I need some more. And then um, Amazon Prime delivers it the next day. So that's why I do like ordering from Amazon. But this is my current favorite one. And 
I hope I'm not too close to the camera now, but that is what I have got on my lashes today. So you can see they're very thick and full. It's not a look for everybody, but I do love a really, really thick eyelash look. Now I have also been using this product on my lashes, which is my next Amazon favorite, and it is the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. Now this is great. This has really, really lengthened my lashes. I'm not sure if it's thickened them or anything, but it's definitely lengthened them. Like they've been doing really well from since me using this. I've used it now, I think eight weeks, two months. And I think that's when you do start, well, I think after a month you can start seeing like very nice conditioned lashes. And then at the eight week stage, you start seeing them sort of grow and grow and grow. Really nice. I was gonna get a different lash enhancing serum, but this one was very affordable. It's also on sale on Amazon at the moment. Now I'm filming this on Wednesday and I'm hoping to upload it on Sunday. So it's only like four days later. So I hope it's still on sale, but it's 60% off at the minute and it's down to 25 pounds. So it isn't a cheap product, but I think if you're looking into lash serums, ones that actually work, they are expensive products. Like for the amount of product you actually get, they are expensive you can just check out all of the reviews on this one there's loads of amazon reviews it's really really good i definitely recommend it notice a change after a month of my lashes they were already growing and looking more healthy and yeah i'm looking forward to continually using it okay next up i have this nifty little gadget here which is a selfie light so you basically clip this on top of your phone and it does come with another attachment, so I think you could probably use it with a camera as well. Um, but you just clip it on top and it just improves the lighting wherever you are. This is perfect for anybody who loves filming, even just taking photos, people who are making YouTube videos. This is really good for like vlogging and stuff. Or if you just like taking nice Instagram photos, this is exactly what you need. It's so good. Now it's quite expensive for what it is. It was £34.49. and p. The brand is called Nua, which is a brand that I I love for lighting. The light now that I use for my filming is a newer light and they are really, really good. So that's why I wanted to get this one. There are cheaper versions that like you can definitely get more affordable ones. But this one, in my opinion, is just worth the money. The weight of it, the quality is really good. I did buy one probably about six months ago that was about maybe like 10 pounds. And the weight of it's really crappy. The light was just nowhere near as good. This is brilliant. It has different settings on it. You can do like warm light, cool light, normal light. Um, you can make it brighter, lighter. It's obviously completely rechargeable. The battery lasts for ages as well. And it does also have a little battery check on the back of it as well. I'm just gonna put it on. Uh, and you can just see there that it has the battery check on the back. So you know that if you're gonna take it out for the day, how much battery you've got. I mean, already obviously I've got lights on me now, so this is not really gonna like show you much difference, but it does just improve your photos and your video just so much. So if you're, you're just gonna take a selfie on your phone, just clip it on have this light on and it's better than the flash on your phone. When you use the flash on your phone, it brightens you up so you look nice and clear, but then everything else around you is all like dark because it's like washed that out. But with this light, you take a picture, the light's continuously on you, so you're lit up, but also your background shows as well. So I was playing around with it at Christmas and I could get a, a nice picture of me and a Christmas tree in the background and you could see like both if you get what I mean. And I do highly recommend it. It has all these little LED lights in it. This, I've got it on the mix setting at the moment. So I've got warm light and cool light mixed together. And that's the setting that I generally like it on because it just gives me a little bit of color to my skin, but it doesn't look too warm all around me because it's better for like editing and stuff then as well. It slots into your handbag, easy to take on a night out if you wanna just take pictures of yourself, but you know it's always dark. You've got this in your handbag, clip it on your phone and take really lovely selfies with like you and your friends. Okay, next up is a home decor piece and it is this really, really cute little lamp. So this is a completely wireless lamp. You charge it up here with just a normal like USB charger and it is touch activated and you have different settings. So this is the cool setting, I think. Then you have the warm setting, which is the one that I use it on. And then you have, I think this is kind of called like the daylight setting. So you have three settings and then off. And this lamp is just so perfect, I love it. So basically downstairs where we're still renovating our house, we don't have any like sockets near our dining area. That area there has no electricity to it. So when we're having dinner at the moment, we can't even sit down there and have dinner because it's so freezing cold down there. There's no heating either that we do need to come upstairs to eat our dinner because it's freezing. So at the moment, we're not actually using the dining table, but back when it wasn't that cold, but it was still dark by, by sort of five, six o'clock, 
um, we just went to sit and eat our dinner at Dine Tail but have a little light on and this was absolutely perfect for that. It's so nice, it's really like nice and heavy, good quality. This is like, I don't know if this is glass or plastic at the top, it's, I don't know, it's, I think it might be, I think it might be a really thick plastic but I still think this looks very expensive and like it does feel high quality. Also the gold colour on it is really nice as well. And it's just so simple, literally sit the table, put it on and turn it off, plug it in for charge. I've not even charged it yet since I bought it. So the battery obviously lasts very well as well. And this was £17.99 and 99p. Okay, so next up is some wooden shelves that I bought for our office. I'm just gonna insert a clip of these because we've already attached them onto the wall. We did get four in a pack. You can choose between two or four in a pack and we got them in the carbonized black color. And I love this color. It's not black at all. It's almost like a dark aged oak color. And these are very lightweight shelves. So they're good to go on to like plasterboarded walls and you don't need to put them on like a solid wall, which is what we wanted for the office. They're only for decor. So we didn't want to be getting thick, chunky, real wood shelves. We wanted something a little bit lightweight. So these do feel lightweight, but they are very affordable. So we got four for 39.99 and we got the 60 centimeter ones, which has just been perfect for the office. I've got some, which I've shown you in this video above my desk. And then Ollie has his desk next to mine. And then he has uh, two shelves above his as well of like his decor on them although I kind of did put the decor he's added a few bits on there but <laughs> mainly I did the decor on both but they've really warmed up the room they they serve no purpose other than to put decor on them but they just have really warmed up that wall you walk in you haven't got this big white blank wall in front of you you've got all this lovely cozy looking decor and when you're working hard like Ollie's doing his job I'm studying or editing videos it does feel nice just to have these lovely things like in front of you and the shelves are not sticking out too much either so they're nice slim to the wall go on really nicely they come with a little fixing kit it took us about probably like an hour to put four up just because we were like obviously trying to level them out and stuff easy to put on and yeah they, they work out what's that 10 pounds each so i do think they are worth that price especially because of the color of them i've not found shelves that color anywhere else and they're really nice okay next up is another new product that i have picked up as you can see i've only used this a couple of times but let me tell you I absolutely love it. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Oil Spray. Instantly nourishes very dry and sensitive skin, but the smell of this product, oh, I thought it was gonna not have a scent to it because normally Aveeno is very much kind of like scent free, isn't it? Which is probably a good thing, but I do love a little bit of scent in things. And this, oh, I don't even, it's, I think I would describe that as like milk and honey. It just smells very lovely and like subtle, but also just really nice. So I do struggle with my skin. It's just a nightmare. Skin on my face, massively oily, greasy mess by the end of the day. Skin on my body, completely dry, dehydrated, itchy, and just like, what is happening? So I do now generally on the skin on my body, I only use Aveeno products. I just find that they are the ones that don't irritate me. I think the oat in them really helps the dry areas of my skin, because I also get like eczema and stuff. At the moment, I've got eczema in my hand here, which I always get this in the winter. This is feeling pretty good now, but that was worse the other day. And then I also get I get it on the edges here and they turn into like little blisters, like really majorly itchy blisters. So products generally are not great for me. Like, you know, lovely hand creams and moisturizers with all these beautiful scents in them are not that good for me. Uh, but yeah, this so far so good. I've only used it a couple of times, but I love a body oil compared to body cream because I just like the feeling that it that it leaves. I don't like that thick creamy feel. Although I do have another Aveeno product which is their itch relief balm. And when my legs get really bad, I do lather them in that balm before bed and just let them sort themselves out and it does work. But I was hoping to use this as more of an everyday thing to give me that lovely moisturized skin but also maybe help with the sensitive skin issues that I do have. And I thought an oil would do both of these things together. It says it's formulated with oat oil and jojoba oil uh, and it's rich in lipids and fatty acids and it helps to restore the skin's barrier, improve skin elasticity and uneven skin texture. Suitable for very dry sensitive skin and it's also hypoallergenic and it's fast absorbing really love it I was very surprised that I that it had a nice scent as well I thought this would just be a product that just worked but didn't smell that great but actually 
It's a product that works beautifully on the skin, but also smells lovely as well. Obviously, if anything changes, I'll update the description box because I've only used it a few times, so I don't want to be like, yes, it's amazing, but so far, so good. And this one was only £6 and 3p. Okay, so next up, we have a concealer, and this is a product that I have spoken about in so many Amazon videos like from years ago. I continually repurchase this one. It's the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer from the Siam. Also my friend, she regularly goes out to South Korea so she does also go to the actual the Siam shop and she buys me so much of this stuff and oh my god, I'm just so thankful for it because I just have so many refills. But for you guys, it is actually quite difficult to get hold of but they do do a little release on Amazon every so often and you can buy it on Amazon. You are paying a little bit more for it. I think they work out at eight pounds a tube at the moment whereas they are generally a bit more of a three to four pound concealer but that's because you know, you're know you probably paying for it to like be imported and stuff. You can also buy it on Style Vanna, but again on there it's slightly more increased in price and Style Vanna can take a little while to deliver. I've got an order from them that I'm waiting for that I've not even heard about for like a week. So they are great. They have loads of Korean skincare and makeup on there, but you just never really know when it's going to arrive. Whereas obviously on Amazon, you can get this on Prime, you know it's coming, but you're going to pay a little bit more for it. But it is the best concealer. I promise you it's the best concealer. It's so good. So it is a tiny little bottle, but you only need the smallest amount of it. It's really thin, really high coverage. So it's not a thick concealer. When you put it on, you doesn't feel thick. It basically put it on. You can blend it in with your fingers with a little sponge it goes into your skin instantly, but it just gives full coverage. Like it's just such full coverage. And then you can set with a powder over the top or it does dry down to kind of, I'd say like a semi matte finish. So if you've got dry skin, you probably wouldn't even need to set it. But for me, I do like to set my concealers just because of the oils would just slip slowly break it up. I use two colours, so I use shade 02, which is the one that I've linked down below because at the moment that's all I can find on Amazon. And there's only two left in stock, so if you want it, only two of you can buy it at the moment. Uh, but shade 2 I use for spot concealing because that's a little bit like my skin tone when I've got a little bit of fake tan on. And then shade 1 is what I use under my eyes, down my nose, on my chin for like brightening. Uh, but they also do a brightener in this as well, which has a little bit of a pinkier tone. So if you're very, very fair, you could just get the brightener and that would just really help to like brighten up areas of your skin. They have a, a fairly good shade range on this, not like a massive shade range as is like that with Korean skincare because obviously it is based around their skin. So the shade range generally is quite small, but if you can find one that suits you, it's really, really good. I absolutely love it. And I wouldn't keep talking about it if I didn't love it. And it's also really affordable. It's not a high-end concealer or anything, but it performs like a high-end concealer. Next up, we have another makeup product and it is the NYX Brow Glue. This is the clear one. This is the one that I use all of the time. Uh, I tend to just buy it on Amazon because it's just the easiest place again to buy it. But you can buy it in any drugstore or you can buy it online. On Amazon, it's £7.20 and you get five grams in here. And this is brilliant. It basically is like a glue for your eyebrows. So it's a very thick formula like as you can see there it's quite a thick formula but it works you just kind of comb it through your eyebrows generally I comb this through and then I use another eyebrow brush spoolie thing with nothing on it and then I comb that through and then I just like press the eyebrows down and this keeps your eyebrows set in place all day probably all night if you didn't wash it off it's really good it also gives a nice shine to your eyebrows they also do tinted ones so if you don't tint your eyebrows like i tint my eyebrows uh, which i did last night so that's why they're looking quite but you can buy tinted ones so that you can add some color into your eyebrows as well but i generally tint my own eyebrows and then just use the clear to set the brow hairs where i want them but yeah absolutely recommend this product okay and next up is another new favorite of mine and it is this hair oil from i'm not even going to pronounce it because i always say things wrong this is the brand i'm sure you've heard of it. it's a very popular hair care brand this oil is so, so good. I don't normally like putting oils in my hair because I don't like the feeling of any product in my hair. I like it to feel freshly blow dried all the time. So generally, I don't use a lot of product. I use a heat protection and conditioner spray when it's wet and then that is it. I don't apply anything else until the next time that I'm actually gonna wash my hair. But just recently, I have been using this product. I mean, you can see I've hardly used it at all, but 
I will say I've used it for a couple of weeks. This is this is how much product you use. You just need the tiniest amount. It is the thinnest, glossiest, smoothest oil I've ever used. Smells amazing. This stuff is not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Like just go on Amazon or go on Look Fantastic, anywhere you can find it and uh, read the reviews of it because it's so good. That's what made me want to buy it. Now I threw away the um, box with like everything on it that it does, but I believe it's heat protection, helps with styling, obviously adds hydration, helps to smooth any frizz. I have got it in my hair today. It adds a little bit of shine to it as well. And I feel like once I've blow dried my hair, I just blow dried it a bit with the air out this morning. And then I just pull this through. It loosens out the curls, but then leaves it with this bouncy kind of look. But then this stays. So it almost acts not like a hairspray because it's not, it doesn't feel like a hairspray, but I feel like it keeps my style in for longer. And I can use this every day. I can refresh my hair every day and use this and it does not weigh down, does not get greasy. It's really good. And that's coming from somebody who never ever puts any oils in the hair because I just do not like the feeling of it. The cheapest place I found it was on Amazon. I think it's just over 35 pounds on there. I think it's normally about 45 pounds. So you can get it a little bit cheaper on there. And it's also on Amazon Prime. But this is a product, so I'm not even gonna try and pronounce what it's called, but it's quite a popular one. So you may have already seen it before. And then next up is a product that I use all of the time, but I've just run out of, so I don't have one to actually show you. So I'll pop a picture on the screen next to me. But it is the Agora Vibrance range by Swatchkoff, which I'm probably saying that wrong as well. But this is the range that I use. I use the Agora Vibrance because that's a demi-permanent colour, so it basically lasts about 25 washes. And I use that to do my roots only, so I just cover my greys with it. I use the colour 5-00, so if you get the dash 00, that has... 70% grey coverage on it and I find it works really well to just cover the grey that shows in my roots. I didn't want to colour it all the way down my hair because I quite like the kind of lighter ends and the darker roots so I generally do that every probably six weeks I'll do like a little root touch up and then I sort of brush it down to my hair a little bit and it does give me a little bit of a blend but I like the fact that it is demi-permanent because that means it washes out evenly so basically after a while I just start noticing my greys poking through again but I don't have that like half line of colour around my hair if you know what I mean from when you have your roots done with permanent colour it just blends off evenly obviously I do need to do it like fairly regularly I could probably get away with doing it once a month if I really wanted it to look fresh all the time but I have actually just ordered uh, from Amazon from the same range the I think it's called 5-99 colour or is it 4-99 I think it's 4-99 and that is brown with purple in it and I'm gonna do it I used to have bright, kind of dark, bright, cherry purple coloured hair years ago. I haven't had it for a long, long time. And I did used to love it. So this colour looks very much like what I used to have. So I'm going to have a go of just colouring my whole hair with it and see what it looks like. I mean, I'm not too worried because it will, after a while, just hopefully wash out of my hair and it won't stain what I've got already. It might leave a little bit of a stain, I don't know. We'll see how that goes but I just really wanted to try it out. So I'll probably do a video on that or something and let you know what it's like. It's pretty good value. Like the one that I've just ordered to do the purple with is like four pounds, five pounds. So I'm basically gonna do my whole hair for like, maybe like say seven pounds once I've added in the cost of using the developer as well. So yeah, really looking forward to doing that. And um, I'll definitely do some kind of before and after video of that. Next up, I just wanna talk about my Ultra Human ring again. I did say to you guys in my previous video talking about all of my favorites from 2023, that I was gonna mention this again in this video because you can buy this on Amazon. This is the Ultra Human Ring Air, and this is basically like a smart ring. So I'm wearing it now, I wear it all of the time. I love the gold color that it is. I just find this ring so aesthetically pleasing, and I do wear it all the time, never notice it's there, it's really comfortable. Obviously you need to charge it, but the charge lasts about, I think it lasts about five days, I'm pretty sure. I charge it and then I've got it for like five days. It's, it's really good charge and you just pop it on for a couple of hours and then you've got a full charge again. But this is basically gonna do, similar to like what a smartwatch would do, or like maybe like one of those Fitbit type things. You know the things that track your sleep, your exercise, your heart rate, all of those things this ring is gonna do for you. And I love it because it's a ring. I do not wear watches. I've never worn watches. It feels weird to me. So I've never been able to track my sleep, which is something that I really wanted to do. So now with the Ultra Human Air ring, I can actually track 
my sleep with it. It, also, it does loads of other stuff as well. You download an app to use with it. You click on the app every morning and it will give you all of the data from the night before. And you can also set goals on there, like how many steps you wanna do that day and it will tell you when you've reached goals. There's videos on there of how to unwind and meditate and it tells you when you should experience daylight, when you should stop drinking caffeine. It does really help you to develop a bit of a healthier lifestyle. So I really wanted to mention them again. They come in other colors as well. So you have silver and black, I think. There might be another color as well, but the gold is my favorite. But I have added the link for this in the description box below and I've added it to my storefront as well but they also do have their own website where you can order it, which I'll also pop the link for that down below because that will give you all of the information because this is a more of an expensive purchase. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is what you're looking for. It's 329 pounds on Amazon. I believe the price is similar on their website. I think they have given me a discount code to use for their website as well. So I'll pop that on the screen now if I have got one, um, but you can work out where you find it cheaper. Absolute Amazon favorite. And then last, but certainly not least, because I've bought so many of these, I have this huge storage box from Amazon to show you complete with one of my hairs. So these actually come in three in a pack for £46.99. I have bought two packs of these now, so I actually have six of these in the house. I have three in the office, and then I have three in our dressing room. And they're just so good because they look really nice, but they're actually massive storage boxes. They're really easy to put together. They're just those kind of flat pack ones that you put up together. And they have these like Velcro lids on them that do sort of come completely off if you want them to, or they just flat back. And then you can separate inside. So you get this little kind of like divider in the middle here. So you can have two sections or you can take that off and you can just have one whole big section. You can get them in other colors, but I do just love this like beige color with this brown handle. It's really nice. It goes really nice in our office actually with them shelves because they're almost like this like rustic look as well. It looks lovely. And yeah, they're just massive because I've ordered quite a few storage boxes before and they've arrived and they're just not quite big enough. But this one is really big. So the ones in the office we have on our, shel on our shelving unit and then in the dressing room, I've put these on top of our wardrobes. So it means that we've got a little bit of extra storage above our wardrobes for maybe like winter clothing or summer clothing, depending on what season you're in, swap them around. So yeah, really, really recommend these. And I think 47 pounds for three is really, I think it's good value. For the size and what you're getting and how they feel, I love them. Oh my God, I have talked at 100 a mile an hour. I'm actually ready to go and make myself a coffee now because I feel like my mouth and throat is really dry. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this Amazon haul. If you made it to the end, thank you so much because it was a long video, but I told you it was gonna be a huge Amazon haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier on the video, everything will be linked down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you are doing very, very well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.